once again, I am back. Tonight, I... Oh... The geese decided to fly by right now. That's just fantastic. Thank you so much for ruining this. Anyway, hello! Welcome back to my channel. My lonely little lonely channel. We are going to be doing a review today. So I got this fancy gadget three months ago and I'm just getting to the review now. I haven't tried it. It's been that long because every time I do my makeup I'm usually doing it for a reason like I'm going out or something and if your foundation kind of looks like crap it kind of ruins your day like you can get away with like an eyebrow or something but foundation it's kind of your base of everything so I never wanted to try it when I was going somewhere right now I'm not doing anything it's about what time is it it's about 6 30 in the afternoon I am not going anywhere so we're gonna try this bad boy this is the Scylla sponge I do not remember the company I bought it from, but this is the one that came in like the chrome package. It's pretty cool. So it's it's silicone. Pretty interesting. People have been using like those little fake chicken cutlets for your boobies, for you for your boobies, and using those as a alternate, I guess. But I decided to try the real thing. I don't have chicken cutlets, and I wasn't gonna buy them. So anyway, so I'm gonna be trying this with uh, the luminous. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I'm going to do my regular everyday all the time stuff with products that I know how they already perform so I know if this is good or not. You know what I mean? So first I'm going to go off with the Yves Saint Laurent de YSL uh, Touche Eclat Blur Primer. It's so interesting. It's got these little gold speckles in it and it makes me happy. So I'm just going to put a little dot. Nothing crazy and we're gonna blur it mostly I do this mostly in the center of my face because that's where I have you know the pores and all that good stuff and I'm oily there so who knows so I have used this before it is absolutely amazing it definitely does what it says and it doesn't have such a weird texture it's more moisturizing and I know that's weird to say because I'm already oily but it feels not so dry and bleh. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm gonna go in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 4.75. Um, I try to match it as close as I am, but we'll see. Sometimes it just doesn't work out and sometimes I just don't care. So, I have a dot of foundation on the back of my hand. I'm scared. Ah, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, okay. So, I've seen a lot of reviews on this and some people have said that they wipe it and some people say that they smack it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some right here on the sponge and we're, we're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Okay. So it claims to use less product because it doesn't absorb it like a sponge. so. Alright, well, I guess we'll try doing this, I guess. It's, uh, it's kind of difficult. Like, it's very smeary. Okay. I'm trying. So I'm noticing whatever you do, it doesn't blend very fast. Kind of has, like, these waves. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's very, it's not streaky, but it's streaky. Hmm. Kind of disturbing sound. I've heard everybody complain about this. It's just awkward. Okay. Kind of working. I don't know, guys. I think it's gimmicky. I think it's gimmicky. Like, I don't know. You can't see it very well because of the light kind of dilutes it. What I'm seeing is it's very... It looks like my skin is flaky. Like, it looks like my skin is dry and patchy, which it's not. And, like, yeah, that's a, the best I can describe it. All right, I'll go and do the rest then, I guess. It's definitely an awkward shape. I can't fit in, like, my nose contours and 
I don't know, it's weird. You definitely use less product because it's not obviously absorbing it, but it's just giving me alligator skin. This product, it, this is going downhill so fast. This looks so bad. And I've seen some makeup artists actually get away with it looking decent. It just takes a long time. But, um, I don't see this ever looking decent. It could be the foundation or it could be the primer. But, I don't know. Like, what's the point of having this if it doesn't work with, you know, certain foundations? Like, I understand, you know, the Bluey, Bluey, the Beauty Blender works well with other foundations, but the thing is, they still work well all together. One may work better, but they still work well. So, <laughs> I rate this product a zero. I'm never using this again. This was such a gimmick, at least for me. It looks awful. It shows, like... It almost looks as if it's picking up the foundation and just leaving patches. Oh yeah, this is just, no. This is awful. I'm not even gonna go in with concealer. Uh, this is just, all right. That attempt was a fail. There you have it. The Scylla sponge is a gimmick for me. It may work for you, it worked for other beauty bloggers, so who knows? I may not just know how to use it, but I will stick with my brushes and my beauty blender because it takes forever. Definitely uses less product, but by the time I use my beauty blender or brush, it doesn't matter to me at that point. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll go take this crap off, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts!